good morning all of you can you hear me yes ma'am yes ma'am which is more clear now i have put the mic also second one or first one or both are same second ma'am second one second one okay you leave the meeting or what before this class you heard that september 21st school will be opening for students with the consent of the parents have you heard yes ma'am yes, ma oh. okay <laughs> ma the parents are ready to send yes ma'am you are you are ready to come yes ma'am no ma no <laughs> everybody is afraid of corona okay right one heading degenerate orbital degenerate orbital degenerate orbitals orbitals having same energy are called orbitals having same energy are called degenerate orbital d e g e n e r a t e degenerate orbital next heading shielding effect shielding effect underline due to the presence of inner electrons due to the presence of inner electrons outer electrons are shielded outer electrons are shielded from the nuclear force of attraction from the nuclear force of attraction full stop so outer electrons experience outer electrons experience less nuclear charge less nuclear charge full stop shielding effect depends on shielding effect depends on the shape of the inner orbital the shape of the inner orbital means just in the full stop if the inner orbital in bracket you write just inner bilkul pass mein andar pass mein if the inner orbital is spherically symmetrical is spherically symmetrical 
Shielding effect is very high. Shielding effect is very high. Shielding effect decreases in the order. Shielding effect decreases in the order. This order. S, P, D, F. S has got the maximum shielding effect or screening effect. It is screens. For example, this is the nucleus. This is spherically symmetrical. Suppose this is spherically symmetrical. Just like a ball. Just like a ball. This is spherically symmetrical. Inside there is the nucleus. Inside there is the nucleus. You cannot see that nucleus. Now, elect this electron is present or this orbital is spherically symmetrical. You consider an electron on the next orbital. 2s. This is 1s. This is 2s. This is 2s. So, 2s electron is attracted by the nucleus but what happens in between oneness covers that oneness covers from all the sides that means 2s electron will not be very well attracted by the nucleus of course nucleus is attracting each and every electron it is attracting oneness electron 2s electron oneness electron 2s electron in oneness two electrons are there one s two electrons are there but this 2s electron the electron present in the 2s orbital is very well screened it acts as a, this this fellow acts as a screen it shields the 2s electron from the nuclear force of attraction from all the sides so the force of attraction exerted by this 2s electron is less due to the shielding effect or screening effect of that one s so that is what is meant by shielding effect next heading energy energies of various orbitals energies of various orbitals energies of various orbitals so we will be dealing with the hydrogen in the ground state and that is for single electron system and for multi electron system for single electron system that is hydrogen in the case of hydrogen so we'll be drawing this is energy axis energy increases in this way One s. This is for hydrogen atom, single electron system. Hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom. Manish Kumar, please switch off your. Yes. Manish Kumar. Okay. Hydrogen atom. One s. 2s and 2p are having same energy in the case of one electron system that is hydrogen atom in bracket you write one electron system one electron system one electron system then 3s 3p 3d all are having same energy 4s 4p, 4d, 4f, all are having same energy. But in the case of multi-electron system, I'm drawing here for multi-electron system. Multi-electron system. So here you write multi-electron system. Multi-electron system. More than one electron. So energy again, energy on this axis. One is above that 2s just little above that is 2p then 
3s, then 3p, then 4s, then 3d, like this. According to that of go principle, that snake like you are shown no? in that accordingly, uh, energies are different. Energy depends upon the n plus l value. When n plus l value is uh, lesser, then energy is lesser. Okay. Right on. To know the energies of different orbitals, to know the energies of different orbitals, their n plus l value is determined. Their n plus l value is determined. See 2s 2p, 2s 2p, 2s 2 plus 0, 2p 2 plus 1, this is 2, this is 3, which is having lower energy, 2s is having lower energy, 2p is having higher energy. Now 2p and 3s, these two, 2p and 3s. Suppose n plus l value is same, then you find the n value, first one, n value. So 2p and 3s, 2 plus 1, that is 3, 3 plus 0, that is 3. So both are having 3, then you go for lower n value, that is this 2. So 2p is having lower energy than 3s, okay. 3s and 3p. Three s and three p. Three plus zero three. Three plus one that is four. So three s is having lower energy. Electron will be filled in three s first. Then only it will be going to three p. Now you see four s is down. Three d is up. Four s is down. Three d is up. So. Let's consider 3D and 4S. 3 plus 2, that is 5. D, D is L value. L value of D is 2. 4 plus 0, that is 4. See, 4S is having lower value, lower N plus L value. What you are calculating is N plus L value. Because N plus L value is lower, its energy is lower. That's about the energy. Next, we have to see uh, right equation. Half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable. Half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable than the other configuration than the other electronic configuration. Why? Half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable than the other configuration. Why? Right, the answer. This is due to number one, symmetry. Number two, exchange energy. Number one, symmetry. Number two, exchange energy. We will talk about symmetry first. Symmetric. Symmetric things are very stable. Symmetrically constructed house is very stable. Both the sides, if you take the center of the house and you look at both the sides, they are equally balanced. So these flats are made symmetrical. Symmetrical. 
so symmetry if symmetry is there that leads to stability that is the law of nature so write down it is well known that symmetry leads to stability it is well known that symmetry leads to stability half filled and completely filled orbitals half filled and completely filled orbitals have symmetric distribution of electrons symmetric distribution of electrons and therefore are more stable and therefore are a r e therefore are more stable electrons in the same subshell electrons in the same subshell have equal energy have equal energy but different spatial distribution but different spatial distribution means har taraf se suppose all the five d orbitals are having one 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 electron fir har taraf se orbitals are there means so its shielding by the other orbitals will be lesser so write down full stop so they are shielding of one another so their shielding of one another is relatively small shielding of one another is relatively small so no no one is shielding no electron other electron no electron is shielding other electron that means all electrons are very well attracted by the nucleus full stop electron therefore electrons are strongly attracted towards the nucleus therefore electrons are strongly attracted towards the nucleus more attraction means more stability more attraction means more stability more attraction means more stability next is what exchange energy second is exchange energy what is meant by this exchange energy next heading exchange energy for example i am taking 3d orbitals there are five 3d orbitals One, two, three, four, five. There are five 3D orbitals: 3D x y, 3D y z, 3D x z, 3D x square minus y square, 3D z square. What are they? 3D x y, 3D x z, 3D y z, 3D x square minus y square. This 3D x square minus y square lie on the axis like this. Others are in between the axis. 
this is x axis this is y axis so they are lying all the lobes are lying on the axis in the case of these three they are in between the axis here again you can see two nodal planes one plane one paper aise ghusa sakte and dusra paper aise ghusa sakte that means two nodal planes right whether it is dxy dxz dxyz dx square minus y square two nodal planes but 3d z square d z square doesn't have any nodal plane 3d z square so there are five d orbitals so i have written 1 2 3 4 5 5 d orbitals okay one electron goes here then the next electron will not pair it it will go to the next orbital why because they are degenerate they are b generate means they are of having same energy they are of having same energy orbitals of same energy are called degenerate orbitals okay next electron goes here next electron goes here next electron goes here suppose all the orbitals are having one 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 electron and we say this is half filled see this is half filled this is more stable this is more stable in terms of exchange energy we are going to explain this electron can exchange its position with this electron this like small children they stand at the four pillars and they give their hands like this and they exchange their position from two pillars to uh, uh, from two pillars they exchange their position i have seen smaller children uh, before the assembly they play here on these pillars similarly two electrons can exchange their position when they exchange their position they release some amount of energy some amount of energy is released gone that means now system's energy is now less everybody in this world wants to take rest 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 khade ho rahe baith rahe what do you will prefer you will prefer to sit with a lesser energy that is if possible you will lie down on the bed if possible so that is having again lower energy if one is running more energy sitting sorry standing less energy sitting again less energy sleeping lowest energy so everybody wants to be in the lowest energy so when some amount of energy is lost then the system will have a lower energy so one exchange for each and every exchange some amount of energy is released electrons they keep on exchanging their position so this electron can exchange with this this electron can exchange with that electron also so two exchanges this can exchange with this so three exchanges this can exchange with this that is four exchanges four exchanges what about the second one second one also can exchange with others second one has already exchanged with the first one but second one and third one so this is another exchange this is another exchange this is another exchange so i'll be drawing it again the exchange is already shown will not be shown here now we are concentrating on second electron second electron is exchanging with third fourth like that second electron has already exchanged with the first electron so that i'll not be showing you so now three exchanges previously i have shown four exchanges now three exchanges now concentrate on third electron third is exchanging with fourth third is exchanging with fifth this is new exchange two exchanges now concentrate on fourth
fourth. So total how many exchanges? Total how many exchanges? What thing? One. Total how many exchanges? Here four. Here three. One, two, three. Here two. Here one. So total how many exchanges? Twenty-four. Ten. Okay. Ten exchanges. Twenty-four. Ten exchanges. Here four plus three seven. Seven plus 24. two. Ten. Ten. Nine plus one. Ten exchanges. For each exchange, Ten. energy is released. So the atom comes to a very low energy level. When they when one one electrons are going to each and every, that is half filled. This is I, I have shown half filled. For completely filled, also similar case. So half filled and completely filled orbitals, that electronic configuration is more stable than the others. Okay, with that we finish this chapter. Next we'll be starting. Uh, what is the next chapter? Periodic classification. Periodic, periodic classification. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.